let's just get right into it. What's going on, guys? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And uh, over this past weekend, many of you should be aware by now, but there has been LHR unlocks popping up left and right. First off, the Nice Hash team were the Excavator team, um, which is technically Nice Hash, I guess you could say. I, I really believe the Excavator devs is completely separate from Nice Hash, but Nice Hash just uses them. Anyways, point being, um, was able to unlock 100% of LHR GPU's performance. However, it was only on Ethereum and some people were kind of concerned because you couldn't validate at the pool level your actual hash rate right because nice hash is kind of a rental service but the following day not even the following day not even 24 hours later nb miner comes out with an update and then today um we're getting updates that t-rex miner has it right so i got t-rex miner um going I, I i can validate on my system rtx 3080 from evj for the win 3 ultra is working um and it's doing just fine um but uh here's the, the release note so lhr 100 percent unlocked for this is from t-rex by the way uh this is their beta version 0.26 test only of course the finalized version will come out if you go to their main uh what is it uh release pages it's not officially out yet so 0.25.15 so, I mean, this is this is something that I called out. It's just a matter of time, especially after NVIDIA was compromised and that data was released. It was only a matter of time before uh, people were able to utilize that to kind of reverse engineer the LHR locks and stuff like that. So, anyways, T-Rex notes here. LHR 100% unlocked except 30, 80, 12 gig and 30, 50. I don't think that's too much of a problem for people. Um, but, anyways, uh, it requires admin privileges, obviously, just like you would, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee, but I keep talking here. Just like you would with your miners. Let me go ahead and bring up something for you. So I got all my miners in a folder. And so let me show you this. All right. So all my different versions. I really got some old miners too. Um, but you right click the application properties, go to compatibility, check, run program as administrator, hit apply. And then anytime you run your batch files, it will run it as an administrator. Um, so that's that. ETH and ALF should also work. So dual mining works as well. That's pretty cool, right? So 100% of the hash rate, obviously you're gonna take a hit on the Ethereum hash rate uh, when you're dual mining ETH. Um, and I am working right now, so please bear with me. Um, so we got our Linux distribution. We got our Windows distribution. You know how to manually update. You should know how to manually update that. Um, if you go back to one of my previous videos, looked at the pinned comments, copied that, just change the number you're downloading right instead of you know 0 0.25 uh 0.15 or 12 or whichever one you were on um you're going to be you know 0 0.26 0 0.0 um so go back to those videos grab that pinned comment copy paste in hive and then you should be able to run it right now what i'm having a problem with is this particular system that has all my lhr gpus is giving me trouble it's actually um something to do with the network I will have a video about that soon. Don't worry about this. But basically what's happening, as you can see, is I'm running super slow. Again, it's not the, the router that I have. It's the switch. Um, it's running super slow, so it keeps getting caught up. So 56, 57, 66%. It keeps trying to download the driver. The driver that we need for Hive is 510.60.02, or I think, or newer, at least for NB minor which i had verified yesterday was working but i was spending time with my mother my wife you know because it was mother's day um but a lot of the content creators you all enjoy were already pumping out content so i wasn't too concerned about it so anyways that rig with the lhr gpus is, is working on that for this system that we're on right now uh yeah man t-rex miner so mine is only getting 95 mega hash but that's because again i'm having thermal throttling issues um, matter of fact, you won't believe one of the things that I did, uh, you'll see in a later video. So make sure to get subscribed. I know I post videos that usually come out a while later, um, compared to when I'm live, but you guys just have to bear with me. There was no video even scheduled today. So this is my official video for you guys. I've been so damn busy. I'm on call. I got my mother needing help. I'm doing things for my wife and I'm also trying to keep up with the content on the channel. So my deepest apologies. Thank you for bearing with me. But yeah, man, 95 mega hash on the 3080 EVGA for the Win 3 Ultra. Um, it's running pretty good, running pretty stout. Matter of fact, can you guys even see? Yeah, you can. All right, cool. So there she blows, um, looking good. 
Uh, running good and look very carefully in the upper left hand corner of the screen and tell me what you guys see in live chat or tell me what you see in the comments. Um, obviously, I'm not the only one that's done this. A lot of people have used uh, heat sinks to try to cool their 3000 series GPU, but I think you can see it from this video. Uh, what's in the top left there? Anyways, um, yeah. So NVIDIA, this is for you guys. All right, now not for you the community this is for nvidia the the devs the individuals working at nvidia um you know you've done an outstanding job growing the company the way you have expanding in the technology space and kind of breaking barriers where no other company have right so amd is your competitor and intel will be soon um my recommendation to you even though i'm just a youtuber i do have experience in the it space and i've been in the it space for quite some time i think it would be beneficial if you do not include lhr in future revisions of your gpus i think it's a waste of your time your effort and business or company money and it would just be beneficial to just focus on pumping out your gpus getting your silicon right getting your uh your your overall architecture right and just pushing it out right and your architecture already is right you already have it laid out i already know that but as far as processing and getting it out working with your various companies just focus on that don't don't lock it down it's it's a waste it really is a waste uh, i'm sorry what happened to you um in this day and age i mean companies are being hacked left and right that's something that i have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis for my company uh just beef up your security try to do better um, but you know, this is unavoidable now, now that the LHR unlock is going to be available for everyone. Um, you focusing on locking it down because it was trying to help the gamers get, you know, get these graphic cards in the hands of gamers that mission failed guys. So don't bother with it. Just focus on pumping out cards. So that way, whether it's a gamer, a developer, uh, AutoCAD, a Maya developer, 3d printer, uh, the regular average Joe, the person that works from home, just focus on getting them cards. Don't focus on restricting the cards. Okay, NVIDIA? Can you do that for us? I think that will actually make you look a lot better in the eyes of the community. Because when you came out with this, the hope was it would help. It didn't really help. Your CMP lineup isn't as great. Maybe continue to CMP lineup if you want to. I don't care. Uh, maybe big companies, big farms are buying those cards. I'm not. Most of the people I know are not. So just focus on getting graphics cards out to everyone, not just gamers, because we're we're moving forward in a world now where I know and I know and understand why gamers are upset, right? They see all these miners buying, you know, pallets of their cards, but crypto isn't going anywhere. Blockchain isn't going anywhere. We're gonna be here for years to come. Yes the most profitable project isn't going to be mineable, but that doesn't mean mining is going to die. We're going to continue to buy these GPUs. So don't focus on that. The crypto community will focus on that and worry about that. You just worry about getting GPUs into the hands of consumers. All right. That's my little heart to heart you to you in video. So get it together. Um, so yeah, man, T-Rex miner beta out hash rates looking good. I have a, a, a I was able to validate it at the pool, just like I was able to with MB Miner. However, uh, as I said, I haven't been able to catch up with everyone's uh, content, you know, every content creator out there as far as what they were able to push out for MB Miner. Um, but it does look very promising. So Excavator was first, MB Miner was second, from my understanding. Uh, T Rex Miner is third. And then here we go LOL Miner. They're already working on something. Is it out yet? I don't know. Does LOL Miner have like a Discord that I'm not in? Possibly. G Miner. Do they have a Discord that I'm not in? Possibly. Like, am I missing out on it? Possibly. I'm not the end all be all of everything, guys. So uh, this one right here G Miner, May March 31st. So I'm pretty sure G Miner, LOL Miner is going to be coming out in the next couple of days. Crypto Donkey Miner, Chump Change. Uh, the hobbyist miner, Red Fox Crypto, Red Panda Mining, Son of a Tech, all of your favorites are going to keep pushing out updates so that way you guys are aware. But the good thing is it's completely defeated and now we can get the full hash rate. This has just unlocked so much profitability for your GPUs that you don't even know. Like to get an extra 30 mega hash 
just because you updated your software is excellent to get an extra whatever 20 you know I, I would say a good percentage matter of fact let's do some math real quick and then this will be the end of the video for all my future viewers and then i'll get into the live chat and start interacting more personally with you guys all right so um let's see here i was getting around 76 mega hash let's say 74 because i was thermal throttling divided by let's say 96 all right 77 100 minus 77 23 percent increase in performance or hash rate that's pretty amazing that's pretty awesome all right so that is going to be it for my future viewers right thank you so much for watching please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description uh, that helps support the channel once again lhr unlock has been defeated multiple miners will be coming out in the future uh, but we got excavator or nice hash quick miner we got nb miner we got t-rex miner uh lolg miner and others should follow suit what that going to mean for the rest of the cryptocurrencies like ergo who are, are impacted by light hash rate light hash rate just stay tuned to your favorite content creators i'm sure you get updates about that but uh i'm going to get dabbling with the people in the live chat and i will catch you in the next one all right